So I have desert tortoises. They are a type of turtle, but certainly not the same type as pond turtles or sea turtles. Pond turtles and sea turtles have uh, narrow flippers for swimming. Well, look at these guys. Those are not good shaped for swimming, but they are well shaped for digging. And out in the desert, they don't really love it super hot, even with the shell. If it's too hot, they uh, dig uh, down into the, the sand and the dirt and tells the temperature that's just right for them. And then in the winter time, um, when it's going to be really cold, again, they dig down to where it's warmer. Now, these tortoises at my house just woke up from their hibernation. They have had a five-month nap. In reptiles, we actually call it brumation, but it's like hibernation. So for five months, they, it's, their bodies cool down. They're kept in a cool place. And because they're cold-blooded animals, that means that their um, temperature is the same as the temperature around them. They can afford to slow down their breathing, slow down their heart rate, and they're not using calories. So they don't eat that whole time. So they're not going to eat until their bodies warm up so that they can digest. They somehow know that it's not safe to eat if they're too cool. But they do need the UV rays of real sunlight. So, so tortoises eat nothing but vegetation. They don't eat little critters in ponds like pond turtles do. They certainly don't eat jellyfish like sea turtles do. They just eat plants. Out in the desert, they love blossoms and different kinds of desert plants. And they have favorites here. So this is Davis, and I guess I'll yeah, put it down like that. Put a couple blossoms. There's a dandelion, and there's clover, and there's a rose petal. They have a good sense of smell, so he probably, and, and also they see color. So he can choose if he would like one of those things. So let's look at his nice shell on top. The top shell is called the carapace. The bottom shell is called the plastron. And then they're connected on the side. His backbone is actually fused to his shell. It's part of the shell. When I was little, a long, long time ago, cartoons uh, showed, oh, no flowers here? Showed turtles um, or tortoises climbing out of their shells so they could run faster. Well, of course, that's fictional. Um, they can't do that. They're kind of slow, but they keep on going because they don't get much um, actual free water to drink in the in the desert. They hold on to all the moisture of the plants they eat, and it takes a long time to get all the moisture stored up that they need. And if they are picked up um, by someone, it's an unusual thing. Mine are picked up all the time, but they're used to it. If they're picked up in the wild, they will be afraid. They'll think they want to be as light as possible to get away, and they will get rid of all the moisture that they have. They will pee it all out. So, so I love all sorts of animals. I used to be so afraid of reptiles. I was afraid of lizards. I was afraid of snakes. And now I just love them all. All of us as people, as mammals, as human beings, as residents of the earth can appreciate all the animals that live there and know that we're, whether we have fur or hair or feather or fin, all of us are kin. Thank you very much.